they will always think they are okay. Even yeah. they come to sit down in the clinic in front of us, they always say, ah, Doctor, I'm still okay. Yeah, his family member noticed that the patient keep on going to the toilet. No, too long in the toilet. Uh, too long in the toilet, <laughs> yeah. but every time when we ask the patient, the patient okay. will say, I'm okay, I'm not anything. Uh. Hi, Fam. Hey, To. Prostate enlargement ha- happen in men when mm-hmm. getting older and older, yep. especially uh, after 50. Uh. Correct. After 50, then the, the older the men are, then the, the prostate will go bigger and the symptoms will get worse. Correct. Uh, then until one day you need treatment, right? Yep. So what kind of treatment you are doing now like, actually? Actually, when I see the patient, I will start with the history taking and then examination. I want to feel the prostate itself and of course, I will take the blood investigation like kidney function and then also... Uh, I think we'll screen the PSA like also, the right? PSA. Yeah. yeah, PSA is another issue. A lot of people say, why you want to do, take PSA? You have over-diagnosed prostate cancer. Yeah. But in Malaysia, not really. Because many places that uh, they're thinking that it's uh, over-diagnosed or over-treatment have to ask a lot of things. But in Malaysia, we have a study have proven that most of the patient or 50% of the patient mm. come to Malaysia presented, I mean the in Malaysia presented with prostate cancer is stage 4. Yes, yeah, so com- uh, Yeah, as compared yeah. to the all these like yes. Japan, Australia or even Singapore, we it's can actually e- very, very low. In Malaysia, yeah. we can easily see a PSA 1000, 10,000, yes. right? Yeah. And, and, and just, and this happened in the opportunities uh, screening. The yes. patient comes, we just take a PSA, it's 1000, yeah. right? In, indirectly also, we know that if PSA is more than 1.5, the uh. progression of the disease is higher. Yes. So it's a give us an idea whether uh, it's a, in True. terms of a treatment. True. So True. something like that. If patient still able to pass urine, we will start the patient with medication. Yeah. So the medication available now, the most common one is the alpha blocker. Yeah. So right. alpha blocker, the function I think basically is to mm. relax the smooth muscle of the prostate. Mm-hmm. Then the prostate channel will become relaxed. Then patient can pass urine easily. This is the most common one. How about others? Mm, what about others is 5-alpha uh, yeah. uh, reductase, uh, something yeah. that we can uh, reduce the prostate size. But uh, there are doctors who is concerning about initiating this medication can affect the sexual function, yeah, loss of libido, true. all these things. What do you think about this one? Will it, is it really happen or maybe some of them uh, claim that it's actually initially it will, then eventually it will uh, sort of uh, disappear? According so, to most of the major studies, yeah. it's not true. Yep, correct. That's all for yep. me. Yep. It's not true. I wouldn't say it's really reduced, but it can delay the progress. It yep. can delay the enlargement and also can delay the patient to surgery. Yep. So this is proven in the most of the major studies. So this is also another good option to start uh, mm. uh, for patients. And also for some patients, they are very con- they are concerned about their their erection and they want a combination of erection with improved the uh, urine flow then we also can start the uh, PDE5 inhibitors yeah. our the PDE5 inhibitor 5 milligrams uh, daily, daily that, yep. that have the combination effect of improve the erection and also improve the urination uh, urination uh, yep. symptoms right yeah some of the patient actually are too shy to tell us that has yes. also having an erectile dysfunction which medication that uh, actually uh, are you uh, frequently used? I'm using the selective alpha blocker now. Selective, uh, uh, yes, the correct. Alpha one selective alpha, yep. uh, uh, alpha selective blocker. Yep. Why? Because in in the past, uh, the alpha blocker is is more general. Yep. And the side effect is they can cause the uh, reduce the blood pressure. Mm. And some of the old 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 patient after yep. taking this medication. They can feel bleediness yep, and correct. some of them even fainted. Yep. So, but with this uh, very highly selective uh, alpha uh, alpha one uh, blocker, mm. then they only block the alpha receptor in yep. the in the prostate. Then, correct. Uh, they have very minimum of the side effect of bleediness, right? Yep, correct. Mm-hmm. So I also uh, experienced that, but also again give and take. Yes. When you are taking a lot of uh, high selective the mm. alpha blocker, mm. sometimes it causes a lot of retrograde ejaculation. 
this is something that the patient always complain that they are just they are say doctor why you give me the medication then now I cannot I'm dry. I'm dry, I cannot ejaculate anymore with it. Oh. What what is going on? I say uh, no this one is a side effect. Mm. But those people who are concerned of this, sometimes you can consider this a non selective. Mm. So it's again give and take. Yep. Selective one is actually uh, better in the improvement, but non selective one is not so good but actually reduce the the, the, the side, the side effect, effect of the, of the ret- retrograde ejaculation mm-hmm. but now this have a even more non-selective newer product mm-hmm. actually give you a very good balance mm-hmm. and then probably can consider that if you are thinking that you want to have that balance that, that it reduce the retrograde true. ejaculation very yeah. true so so that's why a lot of uh, medication in the market actually uh, can help the patient and end of the day is we need to personalize treatment yes. to each patient Correct. depend on their age and their what is their lifestyle now what Correct. is more important to them right yeah but also i think but the thing is sometimes a patient come too late uh, then uh-huh. only we initiate the medication then is uh, probably is not so effective